Common Sayings of Lost People number 15. Worship God, not a book. Need my notes? Come on over here. Notice that uh, with these studies, yeah. that uh, thank you. Very good. You just hold on to them for just a minute here till I'm ready to go. Got my assistant here today. Um, but I noticed with these last set of studies that I did, these common sayings of lost people, that uh, ironically it was lost people that got the most upset about it. Um, all of a sudden these people that claim to be Christians are coming out and getting all worked up and everything. Kind of reminds me of an old saying my dad used to say. He'd say you throw a, a rock in the pig pen and the one that gets hit squeals the loudest. You um, know what I mean? The lost ones that get hit, they squeal the loudest. Had to do rebuttal videos. But let's start out here. Worship God, not a book. You'll hear this thing that lost people will say to you. How do you answer them? From the scriptures. What do you show them? Psalm 138, verses 1 through 5. I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answerest me and strengthenest me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Huh. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Interesting, because this is back in a time when Jesus, well, when the Lord was dealing solely with the nation of Israel, and yet it says there, all the kings of the earth shall praise thee. When? When they hear the words of thy mouth. Hmm. People don't realize how important this book is. This book is banned in countries, certain countries that don't even ban nuclear weapons. Isn't that interesting? If I'm not mistaken, I think North Korea, this is a banned book. You can't have a King James Bible in North Korea. But they can have nuclear weapons. Interesting. Very interesting. John chapter 12, verse 48. He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. Do you realize that you're going to be judged by the standards of this book someday? That's something to think about. John chapter 14, verses 15 through 18. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. So Jesus says, the Spirit of the truth is going to be sent to you, Spirit of truth, and then he says, I will come to you. Why? Because there's only one God, and it's composed of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A lot of liars out there say, I reject that Jesus is the Son. I don't reject that. I teach that Jesus is both Father and Son. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 is pr the prophecy that proves that. Um, very interesting there. But notice again, when Jesus says, I'm going to you know, reveal certain things to you in the future, it's the Spirit of truth through His Word. John chapter 14, verses 22 through 23. Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot, other Judas in other words, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words. And my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Do you keep the words of God? Do you have the words of God? You say, well, I like the King James Bible, but there are some places where it could be clearer translated. Okay, then that means one of two things. Number one, you don't really believe it's God's Word. Or number two, you believe it's God's Word, and you believe that your intellect is greater than God. Better translate another, oh, oh, really? You know more than God does? You say, well, it's just a translation. Okay, then it's not God's Word. If this is God's Word, it has to be perfect. Otherwise, it's not God's Word. Simple. Very simple. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 3 through 5. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. From such withdraw thyself. 
You say, well, I, I think that you you mean well there, Denlinger, but uh, I think that you would do well to uh, study under James White. His King James Only controversy would really clear things up. You know what he is? He's a pervert. You say, oh, oh, what? Well, well, you don't have any proof. It says right there, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds. Why? He doesn't believe that this is God's book. How about uh, John MacArthur? Pervert. D.A. Carson, pervert. Nessel, Alon, Westcott, Hort, any of those guys in the King James only camp, guys like D.A. Waite. He doesn't believe that this book is perfect. The Texas Receptus. And yet he uses this when he preaches. Uh huh. Just like Bob Jones University and a lot of the other ones. You know what they are? Perverts. Every single one of them. Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds. How can you stand there and make a living out of a book that you don't even believe in? You're a pervert. That's what you are. So somebody comes along and they say, oh, well, you know, you should worship God and not a book. Uh, you wouldn't know God if it wasn't for this book. You see, in reality, what they're really trying to say is, without saying it, they're really trying to say that they believe that they are their own God, knowing good and evil. They make up their own stands. And they don't like you because you have an absolute standard of truth. That's the issue here. And uh, who was it that came along and said that ye can be as gods knowing good and evil? Uh, that would be Satan. That's how sin entered into this world. Not much has changed, has it? Uh, so watch out for these perverts out there that try to come along and take your Bible away from you. Don't let them take it.